how are you hope you're good and welcome to my channel thank you for coming thank you for being here and thank you for clicking on my video i appreciate it as usual we're doing boho twists today i know people call it like boho braids but i'm doing the twist version i sort of want it to be like hip length but we'll see how it goes. I don't know if my the hair I bought is long enough, but if not, I'm gonna add a little bit of hair. And today I'm using some color. I'm not doing black, I'm being adventurous. And I really hope this color works. My hair is literally freshly washed. <laughs> yep, this is what my hair looks without any product. I need to cut my ends, oh my God. It's another day's job. Okay, I've sectioned my hair into three, one, two, and three at the back. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put leave-in conditioner all over that section, especially my ends. Usually at the beginning of my cycle, I have one pimple in a random position on my face, but usually I took my head. But this is how it took up to sit here and it's so big. Today's video is featuring my pimple. I'll probably name it for the end of this video. <laughs> Okay, so for my twist, this is the hair I'm using, as I always do, because it matches my hair texture and usually matches my hair color, because I use color 1B. But today, drum roll, I'm doing copper. Oh my God. I am so scared, but yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I was on the phone with my girl Nikkei for a while and she was convincing me that this was the right move. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Experimentation, right? <laughs> for the curly wavy strands, I'm using this hair. This is my first time reusing it, but I actually braided my friend's hair while I was in New York and I loved the way the hair was. It didn't tangle, it was quite soft and I said I was going to use it. And of course, it's in copper. I have already separated it. So, yeah, oh my god, it's so fiery. You know what? It seems because when I saw it, I was a bit like, ugh, the color of the hair is a bit different from the color of the braided hair. But I also saw this is my inspo on Pinterest that I saw. I know it's braids, but this is what initiated the whole thing. And I saw this picture on, on Pinterest and I was like, yeah, this is the hair. I don't know who owns this picture. I don't know who it is. I just saw this picture and I liked it. If you know who she is, let me know. But yeah. That's where we at. So let's do this. <laughs> Here's a tip. So I literally just had a hairstyle that had box lines and I tried to alternate how I line my hair so I don't lose my hair in the exact same spot because I'm actually starting to lose hair in the middle of my hair just because I always line my, like the middle of my hair. So I'm trying to avoid that now. So today we're going to do curved lines. If you're always on my channel, you're not new to knowing how I part my hair. So my index finger and my thumb is what I use to guide me to draw lines. So let's draw the first curve. Yeah, that's a good size. The next thing I do is to put some hair cream, scalp cream, a little bit on my scalp. I love to spray this twist and set set in lotion whenever I twist my hair. I just love the way it makes my hair feel. And then I will lock all that in with some Monoi Milk. Whenever I use hair extensions, I always love to moisturize my hair really well because hair extensions tend to strip our hair of moisture. So yeah. So this hair sort of comes in sections already, which I have taken out, but I'm gonna divide it into two right in the middle. Yeah, should be thick enough. Enough. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that color. <laughs> and then this other half I'm going to divide into two again because I only need to add some length. I want hip length braids, but this hair I couldn't find it in that length. So to start the first twist, I have the hair and I have this. So I'm going to just Put it together so we can start twisting with it. Let me turn around so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so this is how I start to twist. I divide the section of hair that I have into two. Then I start to roll one side of the extension and then roll the other side and I basically start to twist. That's how I do my twist without having any knots. I twist for a little bit and then I take out the section of the curly hair that I don't want into the twist and I continue twisting that hair. 
in the beginning of the video I mentioned I wanted a bit of length so I'm adding another curly hair to the length that I want the twist to end before adding the hair I need to twist I twist a little bit and then take out the second bit of curly hair and I continue twisting now of course you know I don't put hair in my mouth so I clip that up at the top and then I continue twisting all the way to the very end and there we have it my first twist first breakdown oh my god I actually like the way it's sort of like ombres because my hair is obviously dark it ombres and then we have the braid oh my god <laughs> I absolutely love it oh my god this is exactly what I wanted fire <laughs> I feel like this braid is gonna take longer than my usual braids because of the time I'm having to stop and take the hair out. And of course, remember when you're doing this part, don't stick the hair in your mouth. I don't know where the hair's been. Just pull it up to the top of your hair and if it doesn't stay, then clip it up. But don't put it in your mouth. Chemicals. I don't even wanna know. So I'm adding the other half for length. I'll add it and just twist once or twice. And then add the second piece of the hair. And twist once or twice. And then take the leave out out and continue twisting. It's actually quite straightforward and simple to do. I'm always super cautious when I say a hairstyle is simple or easy to do because of course I know simple or easy is quite relative to whoever is doing the hair or like your expertise. So if a hairstyle is simple to you, it might not be simple to me and vice versa. And because I'm twisting, I feel like when I pull the hair down, the hair sort of twists on itself. So I do this. See, it's like curled on itself. So pull it out. So we can stand on our own two feet. Oh my gosh. This is literally. <gasps> I love it. I feel like whenever I'm doing a new hairstyle, I'm always so nervous, especially like a hairstyle I haven't done before or like a new color. I'm always nervous. As usual, I can't stress this enough, whenever you're braiding the front of your hairline, please always be careful and be gentle because you don't want to lose your edges. Braids are supposed to be protective hairstyles, so let's keep it that way, okay? <laughs> Your body library speaks to me. Alexa, pause please. So in the middle of braiding my hair, I had to go run some errands. And I hadn't finished braiding my hair, so this is how I was walking around H-E-B and Target. <laughs> but we had to do what we had to do. All right, let's get back to it. At this point, my hair is already dry, so I'm just gonna spray some water to make it a bit damp because our hair loves and wants water. Whenever I do my hair towards like the top of my crown, the middle of my head, that's where my scalp is most tender and that's where it hurts the most. So I have to be super gentle and super careful. So I don't really want a straight line as a center part, so I'm sort of going to like continue the curved lines into the center part. As I mentioned before, this is a protective style, so I'm trying everything possible to make sure my hair and my scalp is well protected. I had straight lines with the hairstyle I had before, and that's why I'm doing curved lines, so that I don't have tension in the same spot. As you can tell, I love the hair so much already. <laughs> Okay, we're getting towards the end of the hairstyle and I just wanted to show you real close what I'm doing again. I start by rolling one piece of my hair with the hair extension and then I cross it over with the other side and start to twist. 
I twist a little bit, then I take out a piece of hair and I continue to twist. When I get towards the end of that piece of hair, I add the second piece of hair to twist to make it longer because I wanted long braids. I twist that for a little bit and then I add the second piece of curly hair which I twist in place for a bit as well and then take it out and continue twisting. There's a lot of twisting here. <laughs> and that's about it. When I get to the end, if I feel like there's any fly away, I just cut that bit out. Right now I'm sort of planning what the top of my head would look like because I have few twists left and I just wanted to make sure they were all the same size. As usual, it's an arm workout and a neck workout, but it's super worth it because we're gonna have beautiful hair at the end. Once I get to the finish line, it's always great and I'm always a bit calmer because I'm like, oh my God, I did all of that and it's all over. <laughs> And it's time for mousse, my favorite part. <laughs> so usually for this hairstyle, I don't put hot water because the hair is quite soft and it doesn't itch and it's just light, it's not heavy at all. And the curly hair I'm using also just needs mousse, so it's a win-win, no hot water needed, just mousse. I apply this all through my hair and we're done. I can't believe I was actually unsure about this color because I love it. I absolutely love it. It is fire. Literally. <laughs> I'm actually going for a wedding and I can't wait to style it and see what it looks like. Oh my god. It is so nice. I'll put it up and have some springies hanging down. I'm so excited. <laughs> I feel like I didn't show this part in the video when I was doing it, but this is how I got the hair out. I basically just chopped it off like towards the tracks and that's how I got it. This is all I used on my hair. That's it. I have a little bit of the hair left, but yeah, I need to use that much. If you've gotten to this point of this video as usual, thank you so much for staying to the very end. I appreciate it. I hope you like this hairstyle as much as I do. Please like my video, please share it, please subscribe and all that jazz. I can't even think or speak because I'm feeling my hair and myself. Let me know what you think about this color. I absolutely love it against my skin tone. Would you try it? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you. Bye.